How fast does a hummingbird's wing move? Hummingbirds are the only family of birds that can truly hover in still air for any length of time. They need to do so in order to hang in front of a flower while they perform the delicate task of inserting their slim sharp bills into the flower's depths to drink nectar. Their thin wings are not contoured into the shape of aerofoils and do not generate lift in this way. Their paddle-shaped wings are, in effect, hands that swivel at the shoulder. They beat them in such a way that the tip of each wing follows the line of a figure eight lying on its side. The wing moves forward and downward into the front loop of the eight, creating lift. As it begins to come up and goes back, the wing twists through 180 degrees so that once again it creates a downward thrust. The hummingbird's method of flying does have a major limitation. The smaller a wing, the faster it has to beat in order to produce sufficient downward thrust. An average sized hummingbird beats its wings 25 times a second. The bee hummingbird, native to Cuba, is only 2 in, 5 centimeters. Long and beats its wings at an astonishing 200 times a second. How many species of plants and animals are threatened or endangered in the United States? The total number of U.S. species listed as endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is 990, 391 animals, 599 plants. The total number of U.S. species listed as threatened is 275, 128 animals, 147 plants. Who first developed the modern technique for the isolation of cell parts? Robert R. Bensley, 1867-1956, and Norman Lewis Hoer, 1902-1958, disrupted the liver cells in a guinea. Pig and isolated mitochondria in 1934. Between 1938 and 1946 Albert Claude. 1899 to 1983, continued the work of Bensley and Hoer and isolated two fractions a heavier fraction consisting of mitochondria and another fraction of lighter submicroscopic granules, which he called microsomes. Further developments led to the development of centrifugal techniques of cell fractionation commonly used now. The development of this procedure was one of the earliest examples of differential centrifugation. It initiated the era of modern experimental cell biology. What is the definition of behavior? In its broadest sense, behavior covers all kinds of movement and responses to environmental changes. In other words, behavior is the term used to describe what an animal does.
What is acid rain? The term acid rain was coined by the British chemist Robert Angus Smith, 1817-1884. Who in 1872 published Air and Rain, The Beginnings of a Chemical Climatology. Since then, acid rain has unfortunately become an increasingly used term for rain, snow, sleet, or other precipitation that has been polluted by acids such as sulfuric and nitric acids. When gasoline, coal, or oil are burned, their waste products of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen. Dioxide combine in complex chemical reactions with water vapor in clouds to form acids. The United States alone discharges 40 million metric tons of sulfur and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. This combined with natural emissions of sulfur and nitrogen compounds has resulted in severe ecological damage hundreds of lakes in North America especially in northeastern Canada and the United States and in Scandinavia are so acidic that they cannot support fish life Crops, forests, and building materials such as marble, limestone, sandstone, and bronze have been affected as well, but the extent is not as well documented as it is with fish life. However, in Europe, where many trees are stunted or have been killed, a new word Waldsturban. Forest death has been coined to describe this phenomenon. In 1990 amendments to the U.S. Clean Air Act contained provisions to control emissions that cause acid rain. The amendments called for the reductions of sulfur dioxide emissions from 19 million tons to 9.1 million tons annually and the reduction of industrial nitrogen oxide emissions from 6 to 4 million tons annually. Do migrating animals actually have magnetic crystals in their brains? Scientists have long speculated that birds may have magnetic compasses that allow them to detect the Earth's magnetic field and thus determine directions. Experiments in which magnets were strapped to the heads of pigeons caused the birds to become disoriented. Although magnetic iron has been found in bacteria and a variety of animal tissues, none has been clearly linked with a magnetic sense. Can an innocent person be convicted based on DNA analysis? Current methods of DNA analysis are very sensitive, as only a few cells are needed for DNA extraction. However, it is possible for an innocent person's DNA to be found at any crime scene either from accidental deposition or by direct deposition by a third party. Also, a partial DNA profile from a crime scene could match that of an innocent person whose DNA is already in a DNA data bank. In addition, close relatives of SU-suspected criminals could also be partial matches to a DNA profile. What are the commercial uses of brown algae?
Kelp, one of the species of brown algae, is harvested from ocean water for the sodium. Potassium salts, iodine, and alginates that it contains. The alginates are carbohydrates used in the formation of gels. What is a species? There are several ways of defining a species, and scientists will use different definitions. Depending on whether they are referring to a fossil, extinct, species or a living, extant, one. For example, an extant species can be defined as all the individuals of all the populations capable of interbreeding. A group of populations that are evolutionarily distinct from all other populations may also be defined as a species. Even if they are incapable of interbreeding due to extinction. Who discovered the Golgi apparatus? In 1898 Camillo Golgi, 1843-1926, an Italian physician, first described an irregular network of small fibers, cavities, and granules in nerve cells. It was not until the 1940s, and the invention of the electron microscope, that the existence of the Golgi apparatus was confirmed. In 1906 Golgi and Santiago Ramón y Cayal, 1852-1934, were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for their investigations into the fine structure of the nervous system. What is the RNA tie club? In 1953, shortly after the publication of James Watson and Francis Crick's paper on the structure of DNA, George Gamow, 1904-1968, a Russian physicist, wrote to Watson and Crick and suggested a mathematical link between DNA structure and the structure of 20 amino acids. The RNA tie club was an outgrowth of this proposal, members included Watson, Crick, and 17 others, each taking a nickname from one of the 20 amino acids. Each member of the club was presented with a specially designed tie corresponding to the appropriate amino acid. What is the modern synthesis? In 1942 Julian Huxley, 1887-1975, the grandson of Thomas Huxley, A. K. A. Darwin's Bulldog, published Evolution, The Modern Synthesis. This work, which used discoveries in the areas of population genetics and Mendelian inheritance to reintroduce Darwinian evolution, did much to reassert natural selection as the mechanism of evolution. What is the significance of On the Origin of Species?
Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, first proposed a theory of evolution. Based on natural selection in his treatise on the origin of species. The publication of On the Origin of Species ushered in a new era in our thinking about the nature of man. The intellectual revolution it caused and the impact it had on man's concept of himself and the world were greater than those caused by the works of Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, and other individuals. The effect was immediate the first edition sold out on the day of publication, November 24, 1859. Origin has been referred to as the book that shook the world. Every modern discussion of man's future, the population explosion, the struggle for existence. The purpose of man and the universe, and man's place in nature rests on Darwin. The work was a product of his analyses and interpretations. Of his findings from his voyages on the HMS Beagle. In Darwin's day the prevailing explanation for organic diversity was the story of creation in the book of Genesis in the Bible. Origin was the first publication to present scientifically sound well-organized evidence for the theory of evolution. Darwin's theory was based on natural selection in which the best or fittest individuals survive more often than those who are less fit. If there is a difference in the genetic endowment among these individuals that correlates with fitness, the species will change over time and will eventually resemble more closely. As a group, the fittest individuals. It is a two-step process, the first consists of the production of variation, and the second of the sorting of this variability by natural selection in which the favorable variations tend to be preserved. Do all muscle cells work the same way? Although all muscles work by contracting, not all muscle types have sarcomeres, the muscle contraction units. Cardiac muscle cells have sarcomeres but use different support structures during contraction than those found in skeletal muscles. Smooth muscle cells don't use sarcomeres at all. What names are used for groups of birds? A group of birds in general is called a congregation, flight, flock, voli, or volley. What is the purpose of a mordant? A mordant is a chemical added to the solution used to stain a specimen in order to intensify the stain. Two major functions of a mordant are to increase the affinity of a stain for a biological specimen and to coat a structure to make it thicker and easier to see upon observation under the microscope. Is all DNA found in the nucleus?
in addition to the nuclear DNA of eukaryotic cells, mitochondria, an organelle found in both plant and animal cells. And chloroplasts, found in plant and algal cells, both contain DNA. Mitochondrial DNA contains genes essential to cellular metabolism. Chloroplast DNA contains genetic information essential to photosynthesis. How long have leeches been used for medicinal purposes? Leeches have been used in the practice of medicine since ancient times. During the 1800s leeches were widely used for bloodletting because of the mistaken idea that body disorders and fevers were caused by an excess of blood. Leech collecting and culture were practiced on a commercial scale during this time. William Wordsworth's 1770 to 1850 poem the leech gatherer was based on this use of leeches what fungus plays an important role in human organ transplantation The soil inhabiting fungus Talipoclidium inflatum is the source of cyclosporin, a medication that suppresses the immune reactions that cause organ transplant rejections. Cyclosporin does not cause the undesirable side effects that other immune suppressing medications do. This remarkable drug became available in 1979 making it possible to resume organ transplants which had essentially been abandoned as a result of cyclosporin successful organ transplants are almost commonplace today what are the functions of the excretory system The excretory system is responsible for removing waste products. It also plays a vital role in regulating the water and salt balance in the organism. How did the protist fight of Thura infestans influence Irish history? Phytophthora infestans, one of the potato's most lethal pathogens, causes the late blight of potato disease. This pathogen was responsible for the Irish potato famine of 1845 to 1849. P. Infestans causes the leaves and stem of the potato plant to decay. Eventually causing the tuber to stop growing. In addition, the tubers are attacked by the pathogen and rot. It has been estimated that 1.5 million Irish people emigrated from their country and moved to various parts of the world, but most immigrated to the United States. An estimated 400,000 people perished during the famine due to malnutrition. How many types of muscle tissue are found in vertebrates, and what is the function of muscle tissue? Vertebrates have three types of muscle tissue, 1, smooth, 2, 
skeletal, and 3, cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers. Provides the capability of movement for the organism or for the movement of substances within the body of the organism. What are the major differences between cell division in plants and cell division in animals? The major differences in plant and animal cell division are in the assembly of the spindle apparatus. The site of spindle apparatus assembly is the centrosome. In animal cells, a pair of centrioles is at the center of the centrosome. In contrast, most plants lack centrioles, but they do have a centrosome. In animal cells, a cleavage furrow forms during cytokinesis, which deepens and then pinches the parent cells in two. Plant cells, which have cell walls, do not have a cleavage furrow. Instead, a cell plate is produced in the middle of the parent cell, which grows toward the perimeter of the cell until it reaches the plasma membrane, dividing the cell in two. A new cell wall then forms from the cell plate. Who coined the term biology? John Baptiste de Lamarck, 1744 to 1829, is credited with coining the term biology from the Greek terms bios, meaning life, and logi, meaning study of, in 1802 to describe the science of life. He was also the first to publish a version of an evolutionary tree, which describes the ancestral relationships among species. How has the classification of organisms changed throughout history? From Aristotle, 384 to 322 B. C. E. to Carolus Linnaeus, 1707 to 1778, scientists who proposed the earliest classification systems divided living organisms into two kingdoms, plants and animals. During the 19th century, Ernst Haeckel. 1834-1919, proposed establishing a third kingdom protistifor. Simple organisms that did not appear to fit in either the plant or animal kingdom. In 1969 R. H. Whitaker. 1920-1980, proposed a system of classification based on five different kingdoms. The groups. Whitaker suggested were the bacteria group Prokaryotae, originally called Munira, Protista. Fungi, for multicellular forms of non-photosynthetic heterotrophs and single cellid yeasts, Plantae, and Animalia. This classification system is still widely accepted. However a six-kingdom system of classification was proposed in 1977 by Carl Woese, 1928. The groups proposed in the six-kingdom approach are Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. Both for bacteria, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. 
In 1981 Woese proposed a classification system based on three domains. A level of classification higher than kingdom bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. The domain eukarya is subdivided into four kingdoms, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. Who invented the compound microscope? The principle of the compound microscope, in which two or more lenses are arranged to form an enlarged image of an object, occurred independently, at about the same time, to more than one person. Certainly many opticians were active in the construction of telescopes at the end of the 16th century. Especially in Holland. So it is likely that the idea of the microscope may have occurred to several of them independently. In all probability the date may be placed within the period 1590-1609. And the credit should go to three spectacle makers in Holland. Hans Janssen, his son Zacharias, 1580-1638, and Hans Lippershey, 1570-1619, have all been cited at various times as deserving chief credit. An Englishman, Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, was the first to make the best use of a compound microscope. And his book Micrographia, published in 1665, contains some of the most beautiful drawings of microscopic observations ever made. Why is electrophoresis important for biological research? Gel electrophoresis has become an important tool to identify DNA molecules. Genetic differences between different species of plants and animals have been identified using gel electrophoresis. Protein molecules that differ by a single amino acid can be identified. This process is useful for determining the genetic fingerprint of an individual. What is the importance of the rainforest? Half of all medicines prescribed worldwide are originally derived from wild products. And the United States National Cancer Institute has identified more than 2. 000 tropical rainforest plants with the potential to fight cancer. Rubber, timber, gums, resins, and waxes, pesticides, lubricants, nuts and fruits. Flavorings and dyes tufts, steroids, latexes, essential and edible oils. And bamboo are among the products that would be drastically affected by the depletion of the tropical forests. How can mathematics be used to predict an enzyme's behavior? The calculation of enzyme activity is known as enzyme kinetics. One particularly useful model for making these predictions, the Michaelis-Menten equation, was formulated in 1913 by Leonor Michaelis, 
1875 to 1949, and Maud Menton, 1879 to 1960. It is important for scientists to know how to control enzymatic reactions by varying the concentration of enzymes and substrates. After all, enzymes mediate all cellular pathways. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths, Bombyx mori, may have the best sense of smell in the world. Their antennae are covered with about 65,000 tiny bristles. Most of the bristles are chemoreceptors. The moths can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles 11 kilometers away. What are the functions of the central vacuole? The central vacuole can encompass 80% or more of the cell. It is usually the largest compartment in a mature plant cell, and is surrounded by the tonoplast. The important functions it provides include storage, waste disposal, protection, and growth. What is scanning tunneling microscopy? Scanning tunneling microscopy, STM, also called a scanning probe microscopy, was developed in the 1980s to explore the surface structure of specimens at the atomic level. This technique uses electronic methods to move a metallic tip, a conducting material such as platinum iridium. Composed ideally of a single atom, across the surface of a specimen. As the tip is moved across the surface of the specimen, electrical voltage is applied to the surface. If the tip is close enough to the surface and the surface is electrically conductive, Electrons will begin to leak or tunnel across the gap between the probe and the sample. The tip of the probe is automatically moved up and down to maintain a constant rate of electron tunneling across the gap as the probe scans the sample. The movement is presented on a video screen. Successive scans then build up an image of the surface at atomic resolution. How fast is DNA copied? In prokaryotes, about 1,000 nucleotides can be copied per second. So all of the 4.7 MB of Escherichia coli can be copied in about 40 minutes. Since the eukaryotic genome is immense compared to the prokaryotic genome, one might think that the eukaryotic DNA replication would take a very long time. However, Actual measurements show that the chromosomes in eukaryotes have multiple replication sites per chromosome. Eukaryotic cells can replicate about 500-5000 bases per minute. The actual time to copy the entire genome would depend on the size of their genome.
What is a life history table? A life history table, also referred to as a life table, is a table that shows both survival and death rates in a specific population or organisms. The Life table is patterned after actuarial tables used by insurance companies. What is anagenesis? When a species gradually changes over time to the extent that it becomes a new species but does not give rise to additional species, no divergence, this is described as onogenesis. What is delayed implantation? Delayed implantation is a phenomenon that lengthens the gestation period of many mammals. The blastocyst remains dormant while its implantation in the uterine wall is postponed for a period of time lasting from a few weeks to several months. Many mammals, including bears, seals, weasels, badgers, bats, and some deer, use this phenomenon to extend their gestation period through delayed implantation so they give birth at the time of year that offers the best chance of survival for their young. What are the most important elements in living systems? The most important elements in living systems include oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, and iron. These elements are essential to life due to their cellular function. Are there other medicinal uses for fungi? Two species of fungi have been popular in China and Japan for their medicinal value lentinulaidodes. A species of shiitake, and Ganodermalucidum, a reishi mushroom. Lentinin and elidodes mycelium extract, lem, are two extracts from L. Idodes that are being studied for their medicinal properties. Lentinin has been found to enhance the function of the immune system and slow tumor growth. LEM appears to improve liver function and may have potential as an antiviral agent. Asian herbalists consider reishi to be the fungus of choice for treating of a variety of illnesses. Who is considered the father of zoology? Aristotle, 384-322 b. C. is considered the father of zoology. His contributions to zoology include vast quantities of information about the variety, structure, and behavior of animals. The analysis of the parts of living organisms, 
and the beginnings of the science of taxonomy. What differences are there between cellular slime molds and plasmodial slime molds? Although both are called slime molds, cellular and plasmodial slime molds have few features in common and differ in their life cycles. Cellular slime molds are similar to amoebas. They move, feed, and reproduce as a single cell. Plasmodial slime molds, plasmodium, consist of a multinucleate mass of cytoplasm lacking cell walls. Do bacteriostats, sanitizers, disinfectants, and sterilizers control microorganisms the same way? The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, classifies antimicrobial agents as 118 non-public health products and public health products. Non-public health products are products used to control the growth of algae, odor-causing bacteria, microorganisms infectious only to animals, and bacteria that cause spoilage, deterioration, or fouling of materials. Examples of non-public health products are jet fuel, paints, and treatments for both textile and paper products. Public health products control microorganisms infectious to humans in any inanimate environment. Bacteriostats, sanitizers, disinfectants, and sterilizers are all public health products. Sanitizers are used to reduce, not eliminate, microorganisms from inanimate environments to levels considered safe as determined by public health codes or regulations. Non-food contact sanitizers are used on dishes, utensils, and equipment found in dairies and food processing plants. Non-food contact sanitizers include carpet sanitizers, air sanitizers, laundry additives, and in-tank toilet sanitizers. Disinfectants are used on hard, inanimate surfaces and objects in order to destroy or irreversibly inactivate infectious bacteria, but not necessarily their spores. Disinfectants are classified according to whether they will be used in hospital or general environments. Hospital disinfectants are critical to infection control and are used on both medical and dental instruments. Floors, walls, bed linens, and toilet seats. Sterilizers, also called sporicides, destroy all forms of microbial life and their spores. Sterilization is crucial to infection control and the process is widely used in hospitals as well as on medical instruments and equipment. Examples of sterilizers are autoclaves, dry heat ovens, low temperature gas, and liquid chemical sterilants. What plant produces the largest seed cones? The largest seed cones are produced by cycads. 
They may be up to 1 yard 1 meter in length and weigh more than 3.3 pounds 15 kilograms. What are some important antifungal drugs and their mechanism of operation? Many antifungal drugs work by interfering with the function or synthesis of ergosterol. Ergosterol is found in the cytoplasmic membrane of fungal cells but is not found in human cells. Some antifungal drugs interfere with fungus-specific structures and functions, such as the cell wall. How does the motion exhibited by cilia and flagella differ from one another? Cilia move back and forth, causing their motion to be perpendicular to their axis of direction. Flagella undulate in a whip-like motion, moving in the same direction as their axis. What factors contribute to the spread of emerging infectious diseases? Some of the factors contributing to the spread of emerging infectious diseases include environmental changes, unwarranted use and abuse of antibiotics, and the prevalence of modern transportation, which allows diseases to spread in wide geographic areas very rapidly. What was the first animal to be successfully cloned? In 1970 the British molecular biologist John B. Gordon, 1933, cloned a frog. He transplanted the nucleus of an intestinal cell from a tadpole into a frog's egg that had had its nucleus removed. The egg developed into an adult frog that had the tadpole's genome in all of its cells and was therefore a clone of the tadpole. How many eggs are produced by sea urchins? The number of eggs produced by sea urchins is enormous. It has been estimated that a female of the genus Arbacea contains about 8 million eggs. In the much larger genus Echinus the number reaches 20 million. What is TIGR? TIGR is the Institute for Genomic Research, a non-profit private research institute founded in 1992 by Craig Venter, 1948, and headquartered in Rockville, Maryland. Its specific interests are in the structural, functional, and comparative analysis of genomes and gene products. TIGR collaborates with institutions around the world. For example, it worked with the International Livestock Research Institute in Nairobi, Kenya, to determine the genome of the parasite that causes East Coast fever, a fatal disease of cattle in Sub Saharan Africa.
what part of the papyrus plant, Cypyrus papyrus, was used to make paper. The central pith of the stalk or stem of the papyrus plant was cut into thin strips. Pressed together, and dried to form a smooth writing surface. The thin strips were placed side by side longitudinally. And crossed at right angles with another set of strips. The finished product was a pure white sheet of paper. Can one type of fat be changed into another type? The process of hydrogenation can convert an unsaturated fatty acid into a hydrogenated fatty acid. This process, which is achieved by adding extra hydrogen atoms to unsaturated fat, has become both a bane and a blessing. Hydrogenation is the process that allows unsaturated vegetable oils to be turned into margarine. This method prevents oxidation, and thus rancidity. And has allowed for the development of foods with less animal and saturated fats. However, the consumption of hydrogenated fatty acids may be linked to increased risk of heart disease. Because the fats cause a change in the structure of targeted unsaturated fatty acids. The consumption of trans fats has been shown to slightly. Increase the levels of bad cholesterol, LDL, in the blood. Who is the father of mycology? Elias Fries, 1794-1878, is considered the father of mycology. Born in Sweden, he received a degree in philosophy from Lund University in 1814. His first important work on mycology. Observations Mycologici, was published between 1815 and 1818. He devoted his career to the study of botany. Concentrating specifically on fungi and lichens. The life cycle of a mushroom. How can genes be used to detect single gene disorders? Genetic testing can be used to determine those at risk for a particular inherited condition. There are more than 200 single gene disorders that can be diagnosed in prenatal individuals using recombinant DNA techniques. Also, since some genetic disorders appear later in life, Children and adults can be tested for genetic disorders before becoming symptomatic. If the locus of the disease-causing gene is known, gene markers can be used to determine which family members are at risk. An example of an adult-onset genetic disorder is polycystic kidney disease which occurs between the ages of 35 and 50. These cysts produced by the disease will eventually destroy the kidneys. Prior knowledge of the condition allows both patient and doctor to closely monitor any changes in the kidneys.
who discovered the first known hormone. The British physiologists William Bayliss, 1860-1924, and Ernest Starling, 1866-1927, discovered secretin in 1902. They used the term hormone, from the Greek word hormon, meaning to set in motion, to describe the chemical substance they had. Discovered that stimulated an organ at a distance from the chemical site of origin. Their famous experiment using anesthetized dogs demonstrated that dilute hydrochloric acid mixed with partially digested food activated a chemical substance in the duodenum. This activated substance, secretin, was released into the bloodstream and came in contact with cells of the pancreas. In the pancreas it stimulated secretion of digestive juice into the intestine through the pancreatic duct. How does a transmission electron microscope differ from a scanning electron microscope? The electrons used to visualize the specimens in transmission. Electron microscopes are transmitted by the material. The scanning electron microscope beams the electrons onto the surface of the specimen from a fine probe that passes back and forth rapidly. Electrons reflected back from the surface of the specimen, along with other electrons emitted by the specimen itself, are amplified and transmitted to a television screen for viewing. What are the parts of a stem? A stem has nodes and internodes. The nodes are the points where the leaves are attached to the stem. The internodes are the parts of the stem between the nodes. Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles? The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term. And turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. Who discovered bee dancing? Bee dancing was studied by Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and colleagues in the 1940s. Details and interpretation of the dance language were published. In the 1967 book The Dance Language and Orientation of Bees, von Frisch was able to study a group of bees by replacing one of the walls of a hive with glass. Are mental disorders inherited?
Most mental disorders have a genetic component. A study on a large family in 1993 identified a link between a particular type of mental retardation, which included frequent aggressive and violent outbursts. With a region on the short arm of the X chromosome in some of the males. This is one of the few cases in which there appears to be a direct correlation between a single gene defect and a particular type of mental disorder. What animals are members of the phylum Nadaria? Corals, jellyfishes, sea anemones, and hydras are members of the phylum Nadaria. The name Nadaria, from the Greek term nide, meaning nettle, and Latin term aria, meaning like or connected with, refers to the stinging structures that are characteristic of some of these animals. These organisms have a digestive cavity with only one opening to the outside. This opening is surrounded by a ring of tentacles used to capture food and defend against predators. Cells in the tentacles and outer body surface contain stinging, harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. Nadarians are the first group in the animal hierarchy to have their cells organized into tissues. When do birds learn to sing? Male song sparrows generally learn to sing during a critical period between 10 and 50 days after hatching. In some birds such as the mouse wren, the learning period for song development is influenced by photo period amount of daylight, and social interactions with other adult birds. What is a prion? Prions are abnormal forms of natural proteins. Current research indicates that a prion is composed of about 250 amino acids. Despite extensive and continuing investigations, no nucleic acid component has been found. Like viruses, prions are infectious agents. Which fishes form symbiotic relationships with the Portuguese men of war? The Portuguese men of war, Physical Alia Physical Alis, a member of the phylum Nadaria, is a floating hydrozoan. It is a colony of four types of polyps a nematophore, or float, dactylozooids or tentacles, gastrozooids, or feeding zooids, and gonozooids, which produce gametes. A number of species of fishes from several genera form symbiotic relationships with the Portuguese men of war. Including the genus Nomus, a minnow-like fish. The clownfish, also called the man of war fish, and the yellowjack. Most of these fishes live within the tentacles of the Portuguese men of war. Some of these fishes, in particular the clownfish, produce a slimy mucus that causes the men of war not to fire its nematocysts.
the nomus fish do not produce this protective slimy mucus but instead rely on a specialized swimming pattern they swim near the surface in a large circular pattern in both clockwise and counterclockwise directions to avoid the man of war stings Why do lemmings rush to the sea? Lemmings are a type of rodent whose plague behavior has been studied for decades. Every four years or so, lemming populations in Canada explode to the point where fur trappers describe the tundra as being alive with the little brown mice. In fact, the population density varies from less than 20 mice per hectare. 2.5 acres, in some years to as many as 200 in that same space the next year. What is puzzling to scientists is that while it is possible to observe this population boom firsthand, the impetus for the growth and rapid decline. The population drops again within a few months, has not yet been determined. Although it has been documented that these population explosions cause an overconsumption of the available food, there is no evidence that such overcrowding can cause the lemmings to become suicidal or even incredibly thirsty, and rush en masse into the sea. Instead, the lemming migrations begin slowly with small groups traveling at night, and gradually build so that animals travel in larger groups in the daytime. They tend to avoid water but will swim if necessary, lemmings can cross a 656 feet 200 meters. Body of water on a calm night, but most will drown on a windy night, which may be the source of the myth. What is programmed cell death? Apoptosis or programmed cell death, is a process by which cells deliberately destroy themselves. The process follows a sequence of events controlled by nuclear genes. First, the chromosomal DNA breaks into fragments, and this is followed by breakdown of the nucleus. The cell then shrinks and breaks up into vesicles that are phagocytosed by macrophages and neighboring cells. While programmed cell death may seem counterproductive at first glance, it plays an important role in maintaining the life and health of organisms during human embryonic development. Apoptosis removes the webbing between the fingers and toes. It is also vital to the development and organization of both the immune and nervous systems. Who discovered how muscles work? Hugh Huxley, 1924 and Andrew Huxley, 1917, the scientists were unrelated. Researched theories regarding muscle contraction Hugh Huxley was initially a nuclear physicist who entered the field of biology at the end of World War II. He used both X-ray diffraction and electron microscopy to study muscle contraction. Andrew Huxley was a muscle biochemist who obtained data similar to Hughes. 
indicating that the contractile proteins thought to be present in muscles are not contractile at all, but rather slide past each other to shorten a muscle. This theory is called the sliding filament theory of muscle contraction. Do centipedes actually have 100 legs and millipedes have more than 1000 legs? Centipedes, class Chylopoda, always have an uneven number of pairs of walking legs. Varying from 15 to more than 171. The true centipedes, order Scolopendromorpha, have 21 or 23 pairs of legs. Common house centipedes, Scutigera coleoptrato, have 15 pairs of legs. Centipedes are all carnivorous and feed mainly on insects. Millipedes, class Diplopoda, have 30 or more pairs of legs. They are herbivores, feeding mainly on decaying vegetation. Are bacterial cell walls different from plant cell walls? Cell walls in prokaryotes, e. g. Bacteria and plants define the cell's shape and give rigidity to the cell. Unlike plant cell walls, Bacterial cell walls consist mainly of peptidoglycans and not cellulose. Peptidoglycans are polysaccharide chains, amino sugars, cross-linked by small peptides. What are the differences between an open and a closed circulatory system? In an open circulatory system, found in many invertebrates, e. g. spiders, crayfish, and grasshoppers, the blood is not always contained within the blood vessels. Periodically, the blood leaves the blood vessels to bathe the tissues with blood and then returns to the heart. There is no interstitial body fluid separate from the blood. A closed circulatory system, also called a cardiovascular system, is found in all vertebrate animals and many invertebrates. In a closed system the blood never leaves the blood vessels. How is the peripheral nervous system organized in vertebrates? There are two divisions to the peripheral nervous system, the sensory division and the motor division. The sensory division has two sets of neurons. One set from the eyes, ears, and other external sense organs. Brings in information about the outside environment, while the other set supplies the central nervous. System with information about the body itself, such as the acidity of the blood. The motor division includes the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system carries signals to skeletal muscles and skin. Mostly in response to external stimuli. It controls voluntary actions. The neurons of the autonomic nervous system are involuntary. 
This latter system is further divided into the sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions. The sympathetic division prepares the body for intense activities. It is responsible for the fight or flight response. The parasympathetic division, or housekeeper system, is involved in all responses associated with a relaxed state such as digestion. What is the difference between an endangered species and a threatened species? An endangered species is one that is in danger of extinction. Throughout all or a significant portion of its range. A threatened species is one that is likely to become endangered in the foreseeable future. What are the advantages of gel electrophoresis? In gel electrophoresis the molecules are forced across a span of gel, usually agarose. Gels are easy to modify and have an excellent power of separation. The frictional force of the gel material acts as a molecular sieve. Separating the molecules based on their size. What methods of analysis are used for DNA profiling? Both RFLP, Restriction Fragment Length Polymorphism, and PCR. Polymerase chain reaction, techniques can be used for DNA profiling. The success of either method depends on identifying where the DNA of two individuals varies. The most and how this variation can be used to discriminate between two different DNA samples. Since RFLP uses markers in regions that are highly variable, it is unlikely that the DNA of two unrelated individuals will be identical. However, this method requires at least 20 nanograms of purified, intact DNA. PCR-based DNA fingerprinting is a rapid, less expensive method and requires only a very small amount of DNA. As little as 50 white blood cells. What other tree species has been adversely affected by a fungus? Elm trees are susceptible to the fungus Ophiostoma ulmi, which causes Dutch elm disease. The fungus lives in the tubular cells present in the outermost wood of trees. As the cells become plugged, water and nutrients are not able to move. From the roots to the top of a tree, and eventually the tree dies. <laughs>